Hi, thanks for joining me today. I want to talk about citrus zest. Uh, zest is the rind part of the citrus, whether it be lemon, lime, or oranges, or grapefruits, or blood orange, uh, in that it adds an intensified citrus flavor. And a little bit goes a very long way. Most recipes might call for a quarter of a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, maybe a teaspoon. Usually for a serving four or six, that's about all you're going to get or all that you really need. So you have to be very careful because right under that delicious rind with all that wonderful oil, the oil of lime or the oil of lemon or the oil of orange, is the pithy part of the membrane, the part of the orange that's the white part. And that's very bitter. So you want to be careful not to grab that as well. Now you can use several, I'm going to show you how to do it, but you can use several different pieces of equipment. These are called kitchen planes or micro planes and they all have different as you can see uh, different size holes and they'll this obviously will give me little shavings this will probably give me some what of a pulp this is good for say something like nutmeg would give me way too small of a piece if I want just a zesting this would work fine for zesting also this is a zester this is what it's made for and all you have to do is you pull your zester across the citrus and it'll come out in these little tiny uh, pieces uh, like that. Um, they're a little bit harder to handle I think for most people and let's see what this one do here. Now when you're zesting you do once or twice and that's it. Move it. Do it once or twice in the same spot and then move it. Once or twice, move it. Once or twice, move it. Because if you do you'll get down past this white part and that's the part that's most bitterest or most bitter. Uh, one, two again. So that's a fairly fat piece of zest. So we want to even go smaller than that. Here are some other options. This is typically a cheese grater with small holes. And if again, just a few things once or twice and move the citrus once or twice, move the citrus then I'm getting more of a smaller piece. This would be very appropriate for if it was in cakes or pies or cookies, something like that. This would be fine if it was going to be used as a garnish on top of food. That would be good as well. Now this is even a bigger one, also a cheese grater type of handheld cheese grater. It will make even bigger pieces of citrus zest. A little bit bigger than that. All, they all work. So it, it doesn't matter what you have as long as you have one of these uh, tools. Now you can also do it by hand. That's a little bit trickier and I'll show you how to do it. You've got to really hold the lemon. What I, what I would do is take the lemon or lime and take a little bit off the bottom so that it stands up. And you've got to use your knife very, very carefully coming down, not very deep, just enough to get some of that green rind off. Same if I was doing the lemon. Now once you've gotten a bunch of that off, get a little one more piece here, then you've got to take your knife and cut it and mince it, either slice it or mince it so that you have small pieces again. A little bit more labor intensive, but it, both of it works. So thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.